watching A Sun Basketball on ESPN. Academic finals are done at Bellarmine University, so this is a final Knights players are happy to take. The last non conference game of the year for Bellarmine as they welcome Campbellsville Harrodsburg out of the NCCAA, ready to play their first ever game against a Division I team. Hey everyone, so great to have you along with us. All conference, Bellarmine guard Bria Torrens with Jack Kaiser here at beautiful Freedom Hall in downtown Louisville. Bria, a sun play is right around the corner, and Bellarmine seems ready to go playing uh, well its last two games. Yes, they have been playing great these past few games, and it's falling, uh, Fall State is falling. Um, I think they have a lot of energy, and they play well for those three quarters in the Fall State game, and I'm hoping tonight they can put together four good quarters. They were dominant against Spalding. They fought hard with Ball State, trying to put it all together tonight again against Campbellsville Harrisburg. Let's check out tonight's impact players, starting with Lucy Robertson. She's provided impactful minutes off the bench as a backup post. Yes, she has. One thing about Lucy is she works really, really hard, and she's one of those players that always is going to ask questions to be better, and I'm hoping that tonight, I think it'll be a great game for her to showcase more of what she can do. Season high 13 points against Ball State on Monday. As for Campbellsville Harrisburg, it's Oriana Woods, 18 points per game, one of the best scorers in her entire league. She is. Coach Triple said she recently got her 1,000 points. She is the first player in Campbellsville history to do so. Uh, so she's going to come into the game, I think, with a lot of energy and a lot of uh, aggressiveness. So I hope that Bellarmine is prepared to guard that. They've been prepared the last couple of games. They started out well against Ball State. Against Spalding, they won 105 to 48. They were dominant in all phases against that non-division one team. Well, they face another non-division one team today for Campbellsville Harrisburg. The Pioneers out of the NCCAA, six and ten this season. It's setting up to be another Bellman win. We're making no secret about it. Campbellsville Harrisburg trying to come in and compete, but Bellman always has things to work on, including not getting complacent. Yes. Uh, that's one thing they definitely have to work on. It's hard to stay focused when you're playing a team that you feel like you're already better than. So I hope that Bellarmine stays calm and just controls the pace of the game tonight. Was it challenging to stay focused for all 40 minutes in a game where you're expected to win or take a large lead? It is, because you get into those uh, parts in the game where you're kind of taking over and it's hard to focus on the defensive end. So I think that that's one thing that Bellarmine has to do tonight, is just continue to focus on defense and the rest will come easy. Well, you know better than anybody, Chancellor Dugan loves her defense. So okay. it all starts on that end for the Bellarmine Knights. Yes, definitely. I, I'm sure they, they've been more than prepared uh, to come in here and guard. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen tonight. Well, Brian Trimble, the head coach for Campbellsville Harrodsburg, said, we don't want to be just happy walking in the door. Trimble in his fourth season. They're excited for the opportunity. They're grateful, but at the same time, they came here to compete. And you know Bellman's going to want it to go into its two-week break on a high note. They don't play again until January 5th against Jacksonville State to start A-Sun play. Chancellor Dugan always expecting a lot out of her team. No matter the opponent, tonight is absolutely no different everywhere she's been. 150 wins for Chancellor Dugan now with that last one against Spalding. She's demanded excellence, and almost everywhere she's been, she's gotten it. We are underway from Freedom Hall, Campbellsville Harrodsburg, out of the NCCAA, National Christian Collegiate Athletic Association. Shot. Starts with a two from Jaden Douthit, the sophomore from Ellesmere, Kentucky, Bria. Yeah, it's looking like Campbellsville is coming out aggressive. I don't think they're going to hold back tonight, so I hope the Bellman is prepared to come out here and get stops. Yeah, we mentioned it right off the top. Starts on the defensive end for the Knights. Good start on the offensive end for Jayla Johnson. Yeah, that's one thing about Jayla. She's going to make shots. So if they give her open, I hope they don't because she's going to make shots tonight. Shooting's been a nice much steal. improved part of her game. And so is the defensive end with those steals. Get the swipe there. Two turnovers back to back. Zoe Floyd with the steal. Owensboro, Kentucky native, just a freshman. Their top freshman this season. Three two nights early on. Delphin again. That's a deep two, but Jaden Delphin can shoot it. Yeah, Delphin is looking for that 15 footer. Ooh. 
Trying to lob it inside for Shaniqua Cotney. It's a foul on Campbellsville Harrodsburg. There's Brian Tribble, fourth season, only head coach in program history because the program's only four years old. He was tasked with starting the Campbellsville Harrodsburg women's basketball team because the university, satellite campus of Campbellsville University, is only five years old. Yeah, that's when he told us that, I was really shocked. Like, that's amazing what he's done so far with this team. They've had a lot of success early in only four seasons, so it's good to see them progress. Rank number six in the NCCAA Division II. Here's a steal for the Knights. Jayla Johnson is fouled by Douthit. She'll have a couple of free throws to try and extend the Bellarmine lead. Important for Bellarmine to set the tone early in a matchup like this, right? It definitely is. When you're playing a team that you believe that you're better than already, and you're trying to stretch that lead out, the way you start is extremely important. And right now, Bellarmine is starting pretty well. They've got a lot of steals. They're getting to the line. I'm happy with what I see. Johnson, a rare miss at the line. She goes one for two, an 80% free throw shooter this year. And here comes the Bellarmine press again. Campbellsville Harrodsburg did turn it over 30 times last game and lost to Oakland City. Oriana Woods, their top scorer at 18 a game, attacks with a purpose. That was a nice, strong attack by Oriana Woods. I like that. Brian Tribble spoke to us about FTC finishing through contact no matter what, and she did right there. She definitely did. That was a nice, strong finish. I can see a lot of strength on this Campbellsville team. They seem to be starting off really aggressive. Like you mentioned, they've got nothing to lose coming in here, playing their first ever game against the Division One team. There's a cleanup for Michaela Smith, the senior center, eight rebounds per game. Brian Tribble said she's our beast mode. Oh, yes, he did. She said they go how she goes. That's their post player that they are looking for all night. And I'm happy to see she's starting off aggressively. This entire team is. They've got an 8-6 lead over Bellarmine. About a few minutes in. Yeah, we're going to need to see Bellarmine be a little bit more aggressive on the defensive end. And there it goes, right on cue. Kathleen, Kathleen Scott going coast to coast for two. You played with Kathleen. She's a tough player, makes all those gritty plays that just drives the team. Yes, she does. Kathleen can get a team going with her defensive energy, that's for sure. Shot over the top. Good contest from Shaniqua Cotney. She comes down with a loose ball. Eight apiece, just a few minutes into this game. Final non-conference game for Bellarmine this year before they start a Sun play in a couple of weeks. And a timeout for Brian Tribble in Campbellsville Harrodsburg with 641 left in the first quarter. They don't look happy to just walk into the building. Campbellsville Harrodsburg coming out with a purpose against the Knights. This summer will not be the summer to run out of beer. Because this Bud Light legend beer runner hasn't lost a single step. It's time to take summer by the coolers. You should know that you are welcome here at Bellman University. At Bellman, you're welcome to live your best life. You are welcome to ask for help and receive it. You are welcome to face your future unafraid. When I graduate, I'm confident I'll have a great job because nights get hired. You are welcome to be you. You are welcome to be on that journey of self-discovery. We want you here.
halftime basketball will be played here in Freedom Hall in the calendar year. Men's team just faced Loyola Marymount in its final home non-conference game yesterday. And the Bellman women's team taking on Campbellsville Harrodsburg here on the 22nd, just a few days before Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. Jack Kaiser for your torrents with you tonight. Last non-conference game period for the Knights, and they've got their hands full early with Brian Tribble's Campbellsville Harrodsburg group. They do, Jack. It's the Campbellsville's definitely coming out with a lot of energy and a lot of aggressive. They're looking to score the ball, and I'm interested to see how Bellman is going to react to that tonight. Stop and pop from Oriana Woods. That gives Campbellsville Harrodsburg the lead again. They shoot a lot, Bria. 67 shots per game. Wow. That would be top five in Division One. Wow. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. That's a nice style of play. Let that thing fly. I mean, they know that they had a lot of struggle with turnovers. And you can't turn the ball over if you shoot. So. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Mackenzie Keelan shoots it right into the cup, her first three, averaging 14 a game at home this year. She gets Bellum in the lead. Loose ball, tie up. And the possession arrow with Bellum. Again, the first ever Division I game for Campbellsville Harrisburg, a school that's five years old, off the parent school Campbellsville University, and an athletics program, all the athletics teams just four years old. It started with club teams, they went to varsity, and they're just trying to build the foundation of future athletic success right now. They are, and I like what they're doing. The play, when I, talking to Coach Triple, he seemed really passionate about the group of girls that he has on his team. Um, and that's always good to hear from a coach. When he's excited, you know they are, so. Got to charge the other way. Jayla Johnson takes it against Damani Washington. But as the only head coach, the guy who founded the program, no surprise that that passion's there for Brian Triple, who also is very involved in youth basketball in his background. He is. Um, and I could tell that he was really excited about this game today. He said the main key thing that he wanted them to do was to enjoy this experience. And I could tell that they're having a good time out there. They've been firing away early, hanging with Bellerman, who blew out Spalding, the Division Three team here last time out. And it traveled for the Knights offensively. What does Bellerman have to change here early on to get in the groove? I think they're going to have to start looking for their shots. I've seen a few shots be passed up out here tonight. I think they just need to be aggressive. Don't, don't back down just because you think that you're better than this team. Keep looking for your shot. Jaden doubts it fires away. She already hit two. That was her first three attempts. Stuck on four points. Lucy Robertson coming off a season high 13. Has it taken away? Talaya Todd. Right into Kathleen Scott. And that's the second charge of the game for Campbellsville Harrodsburg. And that's one thing Lean is going to do. She's going to step in front of a player and sacrifice her body. And then you need players on the team to do that. Are you a good charge taker? I would. I'd step in there and take some charges. That that was one of the things I, I was more than willing to do. When you get used to doing it, you really don't even feel it anymore. It's just kind of fall, get up, and you're good to go. I'm sure that heart starts pumping when that knee's flying right at your chest. <laughs> it, I've taken a few hard ones, but uh, for the most part, I can kind of just pop back up. It's the adrenaline rush of it that it feels good. Quite a few players have said that taking a charge is one of their favorite plays in basketball as Lucy Robertson misses the stick back and it's scooped up by Imani Washington for Campbellsville Harrisburg. Yeah, Imani Washington is pushing the tempo today. That's what they want to do as a team. They're attacking, they're attacking. Washington throws it out to Talaya Todd, called for the last charge, step back for a three. Ends up way short, and a nice box out from Claire Canise. Nice look by Kathleen. And nice. Jayla Johnson finishes it off. <laughs> Kathleen's got really good vision, doesn't she? She definitely does. One thing Lean is going to do is she's going to get the, the ball in the hands of the people who need it. Uh, so she, she definitely can take control of this game. Jaden Douthit doesn't need to pass right now. She's hitting everything. She is hot. She is hitting that 15 footer. Mackenzie Keelan, don't want to leave her open. Ooh. At six threes last time in this building. One point lead for Bellerman. Get Jayla Johnson for the bun. Now Campbellsville Harrisburg. 
Their goal is to draw as many fouls as possible. They love to get to the line. They take 16, make, make it 23 free throw attempts a game, which would be top five in the country in Division One. They look at the halftime box score and say, who got to the bonus first? That's literally one of their goals each game. I respect that so much. It's nothing like getting to the line. When you can get to that free throw line, you can really get yourself going, and I can see that that's what they're trying to do. Especially if you're a good free throw shooting team. Four point play chance for Douthit. She's on fire to start. Douthit has come to play. She is looking for her shot every time down the floor. They need to make sure they have a hand up, hand in her face, hand somewhere, because she is shooting that ball. Claire Canise got right under her as she landed. Can't convert the four point play. But Douthit has nine of Campbellsville Harrodsburg's 15 points as Lucy Robertson ties the game. Another open look. That one from uh, Tanea Cecil, freshman from Lexington. Here comes Presley Brown, nearly had a triple double against Spalding. Last time in this building, it was four rebounds shy. Okay. Keelan has it stripped. <laughs> nice take by Mike. Yeah, that was Amani Washington on the hard attack, and Campbellsville Harrodsburg has the lead again. They are playing aggressive. They are looking for their shot every time down the floor. Robertson bumps. Look at Zoe Floyd. Difference in the matchup was Balding. Melvin blitzed them right off the gun. 32-14 after the first quarter. This style for Harrodsburg has given them problems early on. It has. Campbellsville is looking for the, the shot immediately. As soon as they get the ball, they're pushing it and they're looking to score. I think transition D tonight is going to be crucial for Melvin. Also their style on the defensive end. Six Bellman turnovers already in the first quarter. They're scrappy on defense. They like to press, get in your grill. That's the AAU DNA that Brian Tribble brought from travel ball here to the college level and it's serving Harrodsburg well right now. It is. Um, Bellman is definitely going to need their point guard to pull that ball out and slow this pace down. I think right now Campbellsville is definitely controlling the pace of this game. Got a leak out for Brown. She runs it down. Bellman settles in. Nice look. Robertson turning and is fouled. Nice look by Jayla Johnson and Lucy Roberts. Those lot passes can be tough in traffic. They can be. And it, you really, when you're making that entry post to the, the entry pass to the post, you really have to pay attention to the defense. And not only the person that's guarding the post player, but the help side defense as well. And I'm happy that a, uh, Lucy was able to grab that and go up. So Lucy active early on. Bellerman has a very noticeable size advantage tonight with Michaela Smith at 6'1", being their tallest contributor. Lucy at 6'3". Hits both free throws and coming off a great game against Ball State with 13 points. She's trying to keep it rolling into a sub play. Yeah, I think this could be a really good night for Lucy with having the size advantage. I hope she continues to be aggressive like she has been so far. Got an air ball out of bounds back to Bellerman. But the aggressiveness, that's where they want Lucy to establish consistency, that aggressive mindset going to the basket. They think her talent is sky high. Just that mindset. If she's on, she can be deadly. Oh, yes, yeah, she can. And um, it, it's important. I mean, I think it's a mentality that you grow and you grow into as a player. It's just that aggressive mentality and that dominance. And I think that's something that Lucy is still learning and developing as a player. Nice Cecil. Slower offensive possession this time for Harrodsburg. Zoe Floyd and one. That's a blocking foul on Scott. Wow. Campbell's. Yeah, Lean was inside that arc right there, but that was a nice aggressive take by Campbellsville. They are really looking to get to the basket. 
Spalding in this building last week didn't seem to have the same intention inside that Harrisburg does. No, not at all. I think that it's going to be a big and crucial tonight for Bellarmine to really try their best to keep Campbellsville out of that game. Another sub for Harrodsburg. Haley Hood, freshman from Versailles, into the game number 30. Kathleen Scott blows right by her. Over to Hannah Farrell for three. Rims out. Brown there for the loose ball and the stick back. On pace for a shootout tonight. 20 apiece, 45 seconds left, first quarter. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a good game so far. Both teams are being extremely aggressive on the offense end. I think they both just need to put together a few more stops. And a hand check there. Doubt that draws it. That's the fourth team foul of the Knights. It'll be an inbounds for Campbellsville Harrodsburg. If you get to five and a quarter, that's the bonus time. More subs for Bellman. Should equal Kofi back in for the final 40 seconds. Trying to lob it to oh. douse it. Somehow got to Smith. That was almost a turnover, but I'm glad they recovered. Ooh, they're looking to trap, looking to trap. Nice steal by Shanika Cody. Out of bounds off of her, though. Good double team. Good look for Bellman in the half court. I like what they're doing right now, trapping off the screens. I think uh, Coach Duden is definitely trying to get them amped up on the defense end. Hood loses it. Cody picked it up. And Bellarmine has the last shot if it desires. Quick trigger for Brown, though. Coatney on board to a cutting Brown, and she's fouled. <laughs> Presley Brown starting the last couple of games, looking for a spark offensively after a bit of a slow stretch for the team. And she's answered the bell. Double she, figures in five of her last six. She definitely has. One thing about Presley is I think she has a lot of game. She has a strong IQ. She can pass the ball well. She can rebound, defend. She brings a lot to this Bellarmine team, so I'm happy to see her stepping into that role for them. Passing might be the best part of her game. That just comes natural to her. When she's on, going hard to the cup, she can be pretty effective. Here's a steal for Bellarmine and a lay-in from Farrell with three seconds left. Knights take a four-point lead into the second quarter with a small 4-0 spurt. But the surprise of the game, Campbellsville-Harrisburg. First ever game against a Division I team. And they are hanging right with the Knights. Amani Washington helping the cause. It's a competitive game.
triples group out of the NCCAA, Campbellsville Harrodsburg is right in it with the Knights, down by just four at the start of the second quarter. Jack Kaiser, Bria Torns with you tonight. It's a school that's only five years old. Satellite school evolving into a secondary school with four-year residential campus, athletics programs, everything. Varsity team started just four years ago. It's a school that's growing, foundation being laid for future athletic success, and if they keep playing this way, it's going to be a tough game for Bellman. Yeah, if they continue to be as aggressive as they're being, I think Bellman is going to uh, have to find a way to put a stop to that because they're definitely controlling the pace of this game right now. This is a program that has no scholarship players. They play for the love of the game, get a great education. They look like they're loving it right now out there. Play they, hard. They definitely look like they're loving it, and they look like they're hungry to win. They did not come out here just to, for the experience. They came out here to win this game, and they came out here to compete. Haley Stockloser reaches in. Fouls Oriana Woods, their top scorer. Bellman did show quite a bit of energy the last 30 seconds to a minute at the end of the first quarter. They went on a 4-0 spurt, had a couple of steals. Chancellor Dugan wanting more of that from her team. I know she definitely does, and I think if they continue to be aggressive on the defensive end, continue to press, continue to trap them on ball screens, they're going to change the momentum of this game, but it's going to have to start on defense. What do you think Chance said to them in the huddle? Uh, in the best words possible, she probably just said, we need to pick it up. We need to pick it up, we need to play harder, and we need to get stops. Defense is always first on her mind. So, turnover's an issue, yes, for Bellman with seven in the first quarter. But still, starting right here, Jaden Douthit, step back! Oh, that's pure! Jaden Douthit is balling right now. I can tell she's confident and she's comfortable. And they're going to need a defender to step up and get her out of that comfort zone. Mackenzie Keelan trying to answer. She missed it in the rebound to Smith. But Douthit has 11 of Harrodsburg's 22. And every shot hasn't even hit rim. Oriana Woods is called for the charge. Scott takes her second of the game. And that's another one by Kathleen. She continues to do that and continue to get those stops. Bellman is going to change the momentum of this game. Charge or foul call on Bellman. Harrisburg has the same mindset going right to the rack. Again, they shoot 23 free throws a game, which would be top five in Division One. They lead all of NCCAA Division Two out of 37 teams. Miss from Jayla Johnson in Campbellsville, Harrisburg. Another chance to tie or take the lead. Six and ten this year. First ever game against the Division One school. They were supposed to play Lipscomb last year before COVID canceled it. Making the most of their opportunity right now. They're definitely making their most of the opportunity. They came out here to play, and they're definitely being aggressive. Good straight up defense there from Keelan. Hounded to the backcourt. Threw it right off Coatney's back. Smith dives on top of her, and here comes Washington. Scott strips it to save the possession. That, that, was a, that was a messy play right there, Jack. That was a messy play. Campbellsville is not going to stop playing. They're continuing to be aggressive. They got their hands on all of the loose balls. Bellman needs to go ahead and tighten up right now. Seems like a spot where one of their seniors or captains needs to get them going. Air ball right to Johnson. Caitlin leaking out. She's got Hardy but takes it herself for the deuce. And that's what they need to continue to do, is get those steals, get those stops, and push the ball. That was a great look and a great layup by Mackenzie Keeler. Doubt it's been a firecracker tonight. Spinning, looking for her shot. Cecil gets it right back to her. Ten on the timer, another step back. Oh, Jaden Douthit can't miss. She cannot miss. She's red hot right now. Keelan has the answer this time. I knew one of those was going to fall right there. You can't continuously give her that open look. Mackenzie Keelan can knock that three down. They just got to keep feeding Douthit, right? Oh, they're definitely going through her right now. She, she is their spark. 
Knocked out of bounds. That's off Oriana Woods and Harrisburg back to Bellarmine up by five. Subs for both teams. I think it is Campbellsville Harrisburg. Woods, their leading scorer, out. Dowd is still out there, of course, with a game high 13 points. Bellarmine right now, they need to get the hands in their score. Jayla Johnson, of course. And they need to just continue to run their offense. Another near turnover. It is one. Now nine turnovers for the Knights. That's one thing the Bellarmine is definitely going to have to get better at, those turnovers. Got a foul on Bellarmine and Kathleen Scott. Got her on the hand. Yeah, turnovers have been an issue this year, Bria. 22 per game and 24 against Ball State. That's what led to the game getting out of hand in the 